the it says record in red. Is this gonna be is this gonna be in the bloopers? Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to PMU Unfiltered. If you're not sure what you're listening to, this is a permanent makeup pod and video cast. Yeah, that's right. We're out here tattooing people's faces. So if you're new to the industry, if you're a veteran to the industry, come with me on my journey through permanent makeup because we're keeping it real, we're keeping it raw, and most of all, we're keeping this PMU unfiltered. Guys, welcome back to PMU Unfiltered. I'm so excited to have you all here and listening, whether you're in the car and you're listening, or if you're watching the video cast on our YouTube channel, you've probably already got a little peep that we have a guest here today. So I'm so excited for our amazing special guest who is literally doing permanent makeup down the street from me, also on 25th Street in New York City. So there is no such thing as competition here. We are just all love, right ladies? So I'd like to introduce you to Corey Ryan. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm so, so excited to chat with you. I mean, we chat all the time. Yes. Um, but it's really nice to do this. Absolutely. And share with everyone our PMU friendship. Absolutely, guys. And like, when I talk about like competition, like I hear so many people talking about like being so competitive with people down the block from them. It's and insane to me. Like when you told me that you got your space and it was on our block i was so excited i was like oh my god we can meet up and hang out and get lunch and I genuinely like, happy so excited it didn't even you know occur to me that that would be an issue no. at all and no. it's so funny because like imagine if you were working in like corporate or something like yeah. that and they hired another graphic designer you know like yeah. would you think of that as like your competition no no it's, it's a it's a co-worker yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Also, it's like nobody in New York City is choosing their cosmetic tattoo artist based on location. They're choosing... Based... Not at all. No, because if you find the person that you connect with, you're going to go to them wherever they are. Exactly. And like your people find you, my people find me. Absolutely. And Carla's people find her. Anyone in this city finds their people. Absolutely. There's plenty of eyebrows and lips to go around. So. Yes. Um, so let's just get to know Corey a little bit because I know a little bit about Corey's journey, but um, maybe this will resonate with you and you know someone that has had a similar journey, maybe you had a similar journey, but tell us how, how does one as yourself find permanent makeup? Yeah, um, I was looking to make a career change maybe eight years ago. I was thinking like I, I want to be doing something more creative. I have an art, like a visual art background for my whole life and I initially thought I would do like regular makeup artistry and then I came across microblading on Instagram. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. And I was like, that's what I want to do. I yeah. was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like yeah. I obviously have giant eyebrows and I was like, I think everyone should have giant eyebrows. Everyone should everyone definitely have giant eyebrows. eyebrows. I was like, yeah, everyone's <laughs> missing out. And like, I, I wanted it done for my, I wanted the service done for myself and I wanted to be able to do it for other people. Um, so I started researching training. Um, I literally Googled, I was like, NYC microblading training. And how I, was that Google well, search eight years ago? It was, I mean, I thought I was going to have to go to Canada. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was going to leave the country. Literally. I was like, oh, all the training is in Canada. I don't know why it was in Canada and not here. Or like, I'd have to go to LA and yes. And also mm -hmm. it's like everything looked good ish but it was like i don't know who these people are i don't everything look like that's fresh work would look good to me to my untrained eye they're, they're i'd be like okay like, i feel like on instagram like there wasn't enough to know what bad work looked like 100 percent. and if you're not trained you're let you know it wasn't until after when i did get like proper training and i showed my mentor like all the i was like oh i love this person she's like oh that's actually like not very well done and, you're like, and i'd be like oh <laughs> okay she's like well i mean that's pretty now but it won't age well and i was like oh so i'm like i'm just gonna listen to you and let you yeah you know what i mean yeah but i digress um i found i was i looking for training i couldn't find anything that seemed legitimate or that you know i was like i'm gonna be spending money on like investing in this education like i should 
do the right thing. So I, I figured if I got my esthetician license, then from there I'd have more options, at least like through the aesthetics community, they'd be able to refer me to a better training or I'd have more understanding of the skin and, and the way to, I, I just felt like I'm gonna need this <laughs> license eventually. Yes. That was my thought. So I was like, let me just get this now. And then if I have it, then it'll open doors for me to learn microblading properly. Yeah, one, one of definitely like my, I don't wanna say like biggest life regrets, but like I always wanted to be like an, in aesthetics and in cosmetology, but I just never did it. Yeah. And then when I was first exploring microblading, I was like, oh shit, I get to skirt the system. Because yeah. here in New York City, you don't need no. um, an aesthetics license or cosmetology. It's a no. tattoo license, which is like scarily easy to get. It's insane. It's, it's like, insane. Did you take that course at the Department of Health? It was like- The course? Th it was like three hours. Yeah. The, the course. The I'm course. Sorry. The course. It was, three, <laughs> it was three hours. And I will never forget, like at the end, she's like, oh yeah, once you pass this test today, then go ahead and tattoo the world. And you're just like, I was oh. like, tattoo the world. Tattoo the world. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty and, scary. And all sanitation, which fair, but it wasn't anything to do with like death. Oh my or, God. Or, or, it's like, okay, great. I'm not going to give anyone HIV, but I can still do damage. It was a, it was a, just a New York government standard. Yes. Test, yep. And that was it. Yeah. So that, that's how, that's how we got licensed. Yeah, that's um, yeah. but, but I legally do licensed. legally, legally, Le legally, legally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the certifications that are like always popping up with the, like my first cert mm. in microblading. It's like, now that I look back at it, I'm like, what was that? I know. What was that? You know? <laughs> so it's so funny too, because I don't know, like we, we get, <laughs> what was that? It was crazy. And then people down to the, to this day, you're like, oh, I'm like eight times certified or however many certifications I have. And it's like. Okay, what, what does mean that anything. mean? Anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's not like a license. It's not. You know, that's funny that you say that though, because it's actually in my Instagram profile. Is like, it really? Yeah, seven times certified. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I don't know. But like, I'm sorry to mean to be a hater. No, no, it's not a hater. It's just like, I can totally laugh at myself. Like, yeah. that does, I know that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean, mean anything. I left like, all my certificates after I left my old mentor. I realized like a year later that I left all my certificates there. Yeah. I you, forgot are about you that. mad? No. no. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't, those don't mean anything. Yeah. I've, I've never hung up a certification like in the studio. You know, you see some of these artists and like, if that's you, that's fine. Like, yeah. it does bring peace of mind to a certain type of clientele. Totally. I did not mean to be a hater. Be He's not a hater. Not unfiltered. Unfiltered. I'm like, that's the best part. Be seven times certified. Like, be proud of that. No, be go, proud of that. Exactly. Like, please. Like, go go and get yourself educated. Yeah. Go take the master totally. class. But, like, you know, at some point, like, if we're watching this here together, we all know that un unless it's, like, a, like, state, like, standardized, yeah. like, certification, it, it, it's just, um... It's just a tech. You, you learned a technique you learned, from a you person. You learned a technique. You you have a certificate that it's a master class. You finished that class exactly, which is cute. You know, that's great. Yeah, I'm I'm seven times certified. <laughs> but um, so just to get onto like more things that I think you guys would like to understand a little bit more about what differs between Corey and I, even though we work down the block from each other. Yeah. And I think our, the most glaring difference is that I work for myself. Oh yeah. And you don't. I don't. I I don't. I I admire so much that you do that because the thought of having my own business is terrifying to me and I wouldn't know even if I wanted to I wouldn't know where to start. I would have no idea. Like before I met Car I I work let me back up. I work at Sculpted Studios. I work with Carla Richardone. Um it's the most incredible experience. I've learned so much working under her, working with her. Um, I, but before I met her, you know, I was considering making a change with my old studio and whatever. I was like, maybe I open my own thing and it's terrifying. It's, it's, it's all on you. Like absolutely just hearing, you know, we've talked about this too, like hearing the struggles that you've had and, and the things that you go through as a business owner and the ups and downs of everything. It's like, you're in that on your own. A hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think. Sometimes I do, and guys, like, 
each of your goals are so individualized. Just because someone is saying like they're popping up a shop and like their shop is like super sexy marble and chic and they're putting all this like work into it and stuff like, like it doesn't have to be your dream. No, no. You know, like everyone's dreams can be so different. Like your dream could be freedom, but like for someone else, maybe if they're working for like a larger company or something like that, like they're getting health insurance, which I don't think is like common, mm -hmm. but but, or not having to deal with paying rent. Right. You don't not have having to pay that rent. overhead. Yeah. I don't have to think about it. Exactly. Not at all. I don't have to think about my overhead. I don't, um, most of the supplies like are provided to me in my contract. There is a, um, that's a beautiful. It's, a, it's amazing. Exactly. You know? And for me personally, working for someone like Carla, if you don't know her, I highly recommend you check her out. She's, Amazing. Um, but working for someone like her, she's an educator and she has a passion for, you know, the science of permanent makeup. And I have a passion for that. Yes. So, you know, it, it just was a great fit. I'm in a place where that's always being discussed. It's always being explored. Like the learning, like she's learning, I'm learning, she's teaching, I'm teaching. All of that is a community in that space. And if I, had my own business I wouldn't have that yeah and and I could I could be on the other side of that like I I it's lonely working by myself you know which yeah. is why I'm I'm so comfortable reaching out to artists and talking to them and befriending totally. lo local people like I don't consider you my competition like no, not at I all. need a co-worker yeah I need to be like I did this today like what do you think? Yeah. You know, like, how's this color going to heal? Oh my God. Yeah. You know, just oh, things like that. I can't, so. like, and I, I remember like Marla reached out to me two, three years ago, maybe three years ago. A while. Ago. Yeah. And I was so glad that you did. I remember you sent me a DM and you were just like, I've seen you around like in Facebook groups, Instagram, whatever. I just want to say hi. I was like, that's so nice. It's you not know? being nice. It's being a person and being normal yeah. instead of being like weird and creepy yeah and like just like like lurking on someone's stuff yeah. and like looking at their stuff and not liking it or weird. whatever it was like i was like oh yeah hi let's let's hang out let's get together and for me i think it was during the pandemic too like i was going through such an exploration of of like study. that was a big step. Oh my God. That was a big step. Study mm -hmm. and research and like changing my approach and, and color theory, pigment science, all of the stuff that like was a little untapped for me. So to have another artist reach out and also be excited to talk about it. It's for me, I was like, yes, like let's discuss. Please. Totally. It would be down to me, down to talk about it all day, every day. Totally. So, um, you know, whatever you're comfortable with explaining when it comes to being, you're not an employee. I'm not an employee. I'm an technically I'm an independent contractor at Sculpted. Mm -hmm. um, over there. What does that mean that you're not an, an employee and an independent contractor? I'm not what like. I mean, from a legal or yeah, like a from, tax yeah, standpoint. From a legal yeah, from legal tax standpoint. I'm not a W two. I'm a 1099. Mm -hmm. So I make commission off of my services there. Gotcha. Um, I also manage the studio. So. Um, Carla has classes or she has clients or whatever. And we have three studio locations. So she- Oh, oh really? Yeah, right. I, yeah. there's one in New York, one in Miami and one in Phoenix. Oh, okay. So Carla bounces okay. between them. And then part of my responsibility as the studio manager is to make sure that when she arrives, that she has everything she needs to sure. work. Sure. You know what I mean? Of course. I don't have, I'm not paying for it. Like it's, I just have to make sure everything is stocked, the studio is clean, it's ready for whatever. And that's built into my commission. Gotcha, oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. okay, cool. And just like thinking of like things like that when we're talking about the pros and cons of owning your own business and being a contractor, 1099, I think if someone out there is struggling with um, working with someone that they just don't align with, mm -hmm. I think that's when it get that's when it becomes a friction point in totally. your life. Totally. Right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And and I think with your last person that mm -hmm. you worked under, because this is Corey's second second um, studio that you've participated yes. in. Yeah. And I think that was a really great experience from what you were telling me, but you just kind of outgrew it. Yeah, I mean, working, I worked at Le Kitsune um, with Renee Lee. She was my original mentor. I still- She's been doing permanent makeup for how long? long over 10 years, I, I think, mean, at this point. OG, and kind of. I, the opportunity that she presented me with, what she taught me, like, 
I can't express like the gratitude that I feel for that. And I also got so lucky. Like there are so many trainers out there or artists out there that don't know what they're doing. And Renee truly knows what she's doing. And I, I carry with me to this day, the way that I work and, and all the techniques that I have, I employ everything that I learned from her mm -hmm. to this day. Um, she also, she entered into the industry at a time where there were less, there was less competition. Yeah, sure. And she also is so aesthetically gifted. I think that she just offers something so unique and special, especially in terms of her brow shaping. It's very unique. And, um, she built up her and you've taken a big part of that into oh, your own system oh, absolutely mm -hmm. like i all of my shaping is fully based on what i learned from renee mm -hmm. um but she built up a really loyal following and it was all based on referrals which is incredible and the dream to not have to advertise like you don't have to run ads you don't yeah. have to run ads like you don't have what? to run ads you don't have to tap dance and sing like, on instagram crazy. and you, like you don't need to build up your social media following to get clients like, like the dream you know and <laughs> and when i worked there you know i was entering at a time where there was more competition and yeah. it was really hard for me how to get long? clients i was with her for i want to say almost three years. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. I was with her for, I started with her in July, 2018. And then I joined with Carla December, 2021. It's really nice working with someone who is like, look, look, you're, if you're working with someone, like you're going to disagree on things. Mm. That's just not, that's human nature. Mm. But when you just open yourself up to wanting to have a good relationship and res and bringing respect to the table, you will get respect back. Yeah. And I, I don't know, there, I feel like there's something about like most people in New York. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've just got so much to deal with every day yeah. that for the most part, everyone is pretty respectful of each other's time. Totally. And energy and um, you're at Sculpted right now, so you're, you're not sitting in the studio twiddling your thumbs all day. No. You go to work when you need to be at work. Correct. That's great. Yeah. I know some of you guys out there, you have managers and, and bosses that make you come in and like more traditional tattoo lash, just waiting around. Just sitting around. No. You know, and Carlos it's just... never made me do that. Renee never made me do that either. I've been, I've been... And would that be a breaking point for you? Would that be yeah. a... Yeah. I mean... Me too. Well, unless you were paying me to be there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But as an independent contractor who's working on commission, if you're telling me, oh, I need you to sit here all day. And I'm like, okay, well, where are the clients? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Then like what, you know? Exactly. So, you know, those are just like different types of scenarios that I know are happening all over the US, Australia, we've got some listeners, Canada, you know, wherever you are and you're listening to this, like there's a lot of different structures that are happening within the permanent makeup industry mm -hmm. for like contracting people. Um, I also feel like in general in the industry, they're like, it's kind of missing a, a right way. Like so many places are doing it in different ways and it's not working for everyone. And well, I don't, well, why do you know that? Well, why? <laughs> because people are writing about it on the forums all the oh time. Oh my God, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, I see that they, I finished my certification and now what do I do? And now where do I work? And you know, I mean, even like, this is hard for me, like as an independent contractor, like I can't run ads for myself, mm. right? I mean, I could like boost Instagram posts, but I can't like, utilize that following with the optics and like the algorithm. Right, like Carla can run ads for Sculpted, mm -hmm. you know, but I can't run ads for Corey Ryan at Sculpted because I don't have my own business. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, even I though, see. you know what I mean? I so it's like, uh, if you're an artist within someone else's business, it's like, okay, then how do I get my clients? Mm -hmm. How do I build up that following? Like, sure, I can boost my posts, I get more followers, but I don't know about you. Like when I get people that book with me because they found me on Instagram, it's like, I found you two years ago and I've been following along. Constantly. And I finally worked up the courage to book, which I'm so grateful for. It's but for probably people, my most like heard thing here. Yeah. I've been following you for a really long time. And now I'm ready. Totally. So like, if you think that you're posting work and it's not going anywhere mm -hmm. and you're not getting likes, like that's not, that's not real. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
like a lot of our likes as um as artists here in the permanent makeup industry are other permanent makeup artists totally oh absolutely it's not clients just being like oh my god look at that set of brows yeah. <laughs> oh oh she really outdid yeah. herself totally. this time yeah. it's just other brow artists totally. supporting each other for the most part yeah you know it's also like I might post something that I feel, oh my God, this is my best work. Best work. And other artists are like, oh my God, it's amazing. But the, but the clients might not respond to it. Exactly. You know, because they don't, they don't know. They don't, don't know, but they, they know. but just keep posting mm -hmm. because you'll stay right here. And so often you're yeah. absolutely right. Two years later, yep. I'm like, I followed you like two years ago when you did that girl. And, and then I, and then I just followed you and now I'm here. Yeah. And I like, do it all. <laughs> I'm like, let me, let me touch your whole face. Like, let's, yeah. let's go. You waited this long. Let's do it. Totally. Um, before we get more into like the pros and cons of being like, you know, who we are just in the differences, what is your favorite service to perform? Oh my God, lips. Let, lips you're such a lips, lips, lips girl. I'm such a lips girl. It's funny because I started with brows mm -hmm. and then when I learned lips, it was, it was so hard for me in the beginning. But once you kind of, once it clicked for me anyway, and I, but I do find this with, other artists too. Once it clicks, it's like, oh, this mm -hmm. service is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's it's so satisfying. There's no hair. I don't have to deal with working around any hair when I I don't know if you feel this way, but I'm like, oh great, there's no hair in the way. Um, the <laughs> lips don't have pores. They don't sweat. They don't have like any oil, mm -hmm. anything. So for me, um, it's like the part of the body I enjoy tattooing the most, okay. and I love the color. I like working with color I love too. working with color. I really do. It's really, really fun. Okay. So how are you feeling about performing eyeliner? I think it's been oh like God. five months. Yeah, like doing five, eyeliner? five or six months. May I, maybe. It's hard. It's eyeliner hard. is so hard. What's hard for you? Implanting, the stretch, you picking know, a needle, eye shapes. I think it's it's not the sketch for me or the needle choice, um, I think it's managing the client. Like they're so uncomfortable or nervous or do you know what I mean? And like, like their eyes are tearing or they're twitching or whatever. And, and I, I have a really hard time when they're really uncomfortable and it's an uncomfortable service. It's mm -hmm. really, and even if the, like I'm numbing, but even if they're numb, they're still uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, you're putting a needle at their eye, yeah. so there has to, has to be a lot of just like, you have to take whatever you're feeling and just put a big wall up in front of it because they cannot feel that energy from you right. of you being like, I'm really prepping for this. Yeah. You know, like you yeah. have to block it. Totally. So it makes it even harder because it's, totally. it's so much to manage. I'm also like, it's been a long time since I learned something new. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot what it's like to be bad at something in yeah. the beginning. It like, sucks being the be new kid new. on the block. I was like, I don't want to be new at this. I want to be good at it, you know? But I have to say, right. like, Corey and I, we share very similar values in really just like not fucking around and taking it seriously. Oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. that, I know that's like one of your like hard stamps on like how you feel about permanent makeup. I won't do anything that I think is irresponsible. Even it, it's not for me. I'm sorry. The client isn't always right. Like I know what's best for you. And if I'm saying no, there, I, I don't, it's not easy for me to say no. It's not fun for me to be like, no, I won't give that to you. Like I'm, I'm telling you no on whatever you're asking for. If I think it's a bad idea for you, you know, and I feel that way in terms of shape, color, so like I'm conservative about everything that I do. I would, I want to walk before we run. I never want someone to come to me with regret for what they did or feeling like, oh, can we do less this time? No, I can't do less this time. <laughs> I can't undo what I did. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I, I take that responsibility really seriously. It's your face, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And I've, I, I mean, I've, I've made mistakes. I'm, over oh, I have as well. I'm, I'm, and I hear that like, also the reason I've gotten more conservative over the years with my color choices, mm -hmm. implantation, uh, saturation totally. is from my own mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, especially the time that we have start, like that we've been doing this work, mm -hmm. everyone's ex like learning or experience or understanding of color theory and pigment science. We've all gotten that new information together. Mm -hmm. I think it's a big issue in the industry that 
like pigment companies were not really being clear with what they were selling. And then- And like in a really shitty way. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's like, and why won't you give us the formulas? Why won't you give us why, the color codes? Like what, what is the base of this pigment? Totally. Why? I, I know how it, will, how it will work if you tell me what's in it. Right, or just, you know, I mean, it all comes down to regulation at the end of the day. Yeah. It's like, there's no barrier for entry. There's no like standardized way of teaching something. It's like, you In don't... Europe, it's different though. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Like they have a lot of restrictions on their pigments and stuff. It's yeah. much different. Totally. Brazil is really good about that too. Mm -hmm. All the training, like you have to be... There's some artists in Brazil that are fucking out of control. They're so... They're so good. So talented. Their like their knowledge of the skin and the pig, all of that stuff. Like they have to learn all this deep dive research that like we've been working on mm -hmm. for years. That like a lot of other artists don't even know that they should be learning because you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to be important. You go to your training and you trust this person who's teaching you that. The, oh, like I see it all the time in the in the Facebook groups. They're like, oh, well, that's what my trainer taught me. Well, and it's like, just open, it will open up your mind a little bit. Right. Did everything your parents teach you, was that all like applicable to life no. i mean i can confidently say no to that so it's not everybody you know? knows everything and yeah. like if the regulation were stricter so that you needed to have this information in order to then teach this information if there was some kind of curriculum i mean i really feel like permanent makeup or tattooing in general should be similar to like aesthetics and cosmetology. Like you need to complete a certain number of hours. There's, there's a standard and it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist here in New York. It does. Right. Exactly. There is more of it like in other, yeah. like I think, God, I can't even ramble off the States that I know like it's licensing they have and stuff, more. but there's a lot more to it than yeah. what's going on here. Totally. Which is unfortunate. Right. Yeah. So it's, I mean, I, but motivating to me. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, my point is that, what is my point? What is my point? Your, your point, your point is that you give a shit. I give a shit. We, we give a shit. You I know? give a shit. And I feel like we had to, we had to dig for that information. And then once you know it, I, like, I don't know. You do I, better. Yeah, you do better. And I also don't know how I worked without it before. I feel like I was working blind for so long. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like super important for you guys to like remain curious. Like, don't just accept like the, the bar, you know, yeah. just you have to stay curious. This is art. Yeah. You know, there it's limitless. Yeah. Don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you have to think at least to me, I'm like, if I was doing this, if I tattooed your brows, like I would think, is this, would I do this on myself? Would that is my a hundred percent go to. You guys have heard me say this here. If you, if what you're looking at on latex, you wouldn't want that on your face, then you don't, are not ready to tattoo. No, someone. absolutely not. I wouldn't put it on you. I wouldn't put it on my mother. I wouldn't put it on my sister that I'm not doing it. Exactly. If I wouldn't be comfortable looking in the mirror at that every day. I think the forums have gotten better. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm yeah. just not on them. Yeah. As much. I definitely spend less time on them I, I than do, I did before. Because, you know, pandemic, it was like, what it else was, are we doing? I was like, I'm bored in the house. I'm uh, going to answer questions. I'm going like, to go. <laughs> um, but, like, but, I, I do occasionally go on there and I'm just yeah. like, oh, that is a nice, young, good looking girl. And yeah. I don't care if she's your best friend and she's okay with what you did, yeah. and whatever your long 20 minute story is trying to convince us all that this yeah. is moderately okay because it's not it's not okay i'm yeah. like t take a step back look at the work would you be okay looking at that like like, like some of the people literally <laughs> like the, like the, some of the people are like i overlined her lips what can i do and you're just like you're like what you're like you're like did did you think that looked like her lip shape like this looks like my like aunt marge just like slap lipstick it's all it's, it's crazy insane. like it's like insane. literally Forget about the formulas, forget about the mapping, forget about all this, use your eyes. Yeah, yep. Just use your eyes. I feel like... <laughs> in, Open up your eyes. <laughs> it's, it's like so visual to me. Like yes. people are like, oh, art is subjective. I'm like, to me, my art isn't subjective. I can look at my art and be like, that was good, that was not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I've, I'm, an, I'm an artist. So yep. if I see my own work and I think it's bad, I don't think that that's me being hard on myself. I think that that's me looking at it and being like, that looks bad. <laughs> no good. <laughs> like, I can't. And I and I, it's so funny, like just, we don't, we, we didn't prepare this at no. all, but like, this is just so on brand and in line with like everything I've ever said to you guys. <laughs> 
Oh. Like, I'm just like, it's, I'm like, it's good or good enough or it's, or it's not. not. It's not. And, the, and then I go on these forums and people are like, they're keep like, up the work. They're like, great job. Really nice. They'll, they'll heal. They'll fade. They're going to fade half. Uh, no, they won't. What? What do you mean? Can you guarantee that? No. 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 And you're going to be hearing from that person and you're never going to get another grassroot client out mm -hmm. of that either. No. no. All right. Before this gets too long, yeah. let's conclude we this. Uh, we literally can talk about permanent makeup all day. Mm -hmm. That's true. And New York and how ridiculous it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's another thing that we differ in a little bit. And I, as you know, from my last podcast, I am doing a little bit more like business style coaching, working through your problems, more independent, individualized coaching. If that's interest, if that's something that you're interested in, just email me at marlocosmetictattoo at gmail.com. Yes, that's a mouthful, but you'll find me. And, um, you know, I'm, I help a lot of people peel through their problems and really get to the next level by just like trying to figure it all out and see, finding the holes. I'm really good at seeing the holes and like what's going on, but Corey's different from me because she really is an educator. I'm a problem solver. She's an educator, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about like what you're most passionate about and like what a good education is. Anything about education, like, yeah. you know, free reign. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I started um, during the pandemic in Facebook groups. I I was bored and there were all these questions and I would see a question that I was like, oh, I... I can answer that. And I would, and I'm like, wow, the more questions I answer, the more I know than I thought that I did. You know what I mean? Building confidence. Yeah. I was yeah. like, wow, I know what I'm talking about. Cause I'm not going to answer whatever. I'm not going to answer a question if I don't know what it is. So I was feeling really, really good. Uh, another no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if I don't confidently know what that answer is, I'm not going to just throw something out there. Right. So I was like, wow, I really like, I know a lot more than I thought I did. And my answers and my advice was really well received, you know? And that was ultimately a big reason for leaving my old studio was because I wanted to teach. And that was not where her studio was going. And when I met Carla, she is such an incredible educator. I learned so much from her. We really were in alignment there. So when I joined her studio, I started assisting all of her classes. That was, that was part of the the deal, you yeah. know, on, in being the studio manager, yeah. it was like, I'll sit in on the classes and the, that's I, cool. Oh my God. That's really cool. Oh, it was great. It yeah. was like just being in that environment where it's a community where everyone who's there is coming because they want to learn something Yeah, was, is such a positive environment. Yeah. Um, we also have like chat groups. So after you finish class, we Support. have like WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. For all of the students. So it's so nice. I mean, that's also part of the reason why I'm not so active in the Facebook groups anymore because I'm active with our students mm -hmm. when they finish class or whatever. So, you know, after assisting with her for so long, I mean, it started my first couple of classes. It's like she'd be teaching and I would have something to say and I'd be like, I'm just like chime in a little whatever. And it was it was going really well and then it became like i'm answering more and more questions and then we always would have model days and while the students are working we, we don't leave any student unattended while tattooing right so it's of like course. if we have two students working at the same time carla's working with one i'm working with the other you know and it and just doing that over the course of I guess maybe like it was a year and a half before I started teaching on my own uh -huh. of just doing that. So and you are teaching on your yeah, own. Teaching on my own. That's amazing. Yeah. So what, what courses are you teaching? Over so there? I have done a brow course. Mm -hmm. I've done a lip course. Um, I still assist all of Carla's classes. Um, and one of my favorite things actually that I wasn't expecting to happen was all the graduates. We welcome them to come back and do guided model sessions Amazing. or like a lab day that's like non working on a person. So it's like, okay, we can sit, we can work on latex. I can help you with your shading techniques or any theory question, basically like build your own theory day, sure. half day or full day or whatever. Um, and it's, it's been so rewarding. I feel like in, if you have to explain something to someone else, it, it forces you to understand better what Absolutely. you do. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's like, okay, I can tattoo a lip, but can I, can I give that skill to someone else? To be able to see a student 
take what I taught them and then go on their own and be able to produce work. Yeah. It's like, I could cry. You had yeah, a like, permanent like, makeup like, artist baby. No, like, oh my God. Like you're succeeding because of what I showed you. Like you were able, you weren't able to do that before. And then I helped you. Like I, it's, and it's so rewarding to me. I can already see just from like from following your Instagram. What's your Instagram handle before we sign it's off here? Corey underscore sculpted studios. And um, when you see Corey, of course, follow her. Look, guys, following is free. Liking is free. We're here to support each other. We, you want 100 something likes on your stuff? Come follow us and we'll give it back. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But you'll see on Corey's stories that like she's got all these people that she, you'll watch her like teach people. And then a few months later, they're like back at the studio and you guys are like grabbing yeah. drinks and, and oh, yeah. going out for dinner. And Absolutely. like there's relationships We're that building are a built. Community. I'm in yes. contact with my students and my former apprentices all the time. As as it should be because we're just they're like-minded people and it's so it's so good to find your people yeah and and the reason that a lot of her students come specifically to her is because she's passionate and she's fucking smart and they i'm serious so sweet. like they know they're gonna walk away with value oh my God. You know what I mean, though? I, I hope that they feel that there, way. I, I hope I, I even know. If... There's no freaking way that someone will walk out of there and be like, I knew all that already. <laughs> There's no way. Because, like, I talk to, like, Corey about stuff, and, like, my head is, like, spinning with, like, color oh, theory. So I'm sweet. like, oh, my God. She's just a, a next level. You're so sweet. Yeah. Please. It's just, like, it's so nice to have people and friends and colleagues like yourself that care as much as I do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's... Like, it just kind of circles back to what you were saying before. Like, we work down the street from each other. We're not competition. I'm so glad that there is an artist like you who cares so much. Thank Even you. seeing I you do all of your it. body tattooing, like, how many artists out there that are doing these tiny tattoo classes, and you went and did a full apprenticeship, and you learned the right way, and you're doing beautiful work, and I wish that everyone would do that. Yeah, I mean, and again, like, we align ethically and morally yeah. and you know i think that's like important i appreciate that thank oh, you because of course. that was like the longest two hours there and back of my entire life no on like public it was, transportation it's so <laughs> worth it because your work is so good yeah it's getting there i'm getting more confident it, it feels it feels good i just like i like banged out some like two pretty good tattoos this week yes. and i was like yeah that felt good yes. that felt good. you know like when it's like there's a click point yeah yeah and I mean, it's like we said before, it's like you look at it, you're like, that was good. Yeah. That was not. Yeah. Like, exactly. You know, um, crushing it. So. Yeah. So again, guys, please go follow Corey at Corey underscore sculpted. Yes. That's yeah. it? Sculpted? C-O-R-I. Yeah. Yeah. C-O-R-I underscore sculpted studios. Oh, studios. Okay. Yeah. Sculpted studios. Um, um, and if you happen to be watching this, because I will plug this somewhere. Absolutely. If you're not following Marlo, you need to be following Marlo because... She's amazing. You have color theory questions. This is your girl right here. Please hit me up. I love to talk about it. Because Corey is down the street, she will be on this podcast far more because yes. we're just two girls just trying to yes. trying to do things here I in New York City. That. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, thank Corey. So much. I appreciate thank it. You. All right, guys, that's it. You know how I like to roll. Quick wrap. Catch you next week. Bye. Bye. Me on my journey through permanent makeup because 